Review manual muscle testing flexor carpi ulnaris. Again, since its pathway is crossing over the front of the wrist, it's going to be doing flexion of the hand of the wrist joint as well as ulnar deviation. So I'm going to ask my partner to do those two actions for me. Great. It's going to be a little bit tricky with hand placement here, but I'll show you a method that I would typically use. I'm going to put one hand underneath your forearm just to hold on to it. We're going to bring your hand up into flexion and over into ulnar deviation. And I'm going to take a couple of fingers and wrap to that fifth metacarpal side. So this way I can pull her wrist into extension and radial deviation as she resists me. So again, please don't let me move you. And we're going to hold that for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We'll start off with the hand in neutral and go ahead and pull up and over. Good. Flexion and all the deviation. And now for our length position, we'll be reversing that. But again, it did cross that elbow, so we typically will hold that into extension. I'm going to take my thumb and put it across her metacarpals. I'm going to extend her wrist joint and then secondarily bring her over into radial deviation. So again, this is one of those ones that you have to be very careful. We don't want to add any spin to it. We're not needing to go into supination or pronation. So again, just into wrist extension and then over into radial deviation for our length position.